Hi, I'm Jonathan Pines, Director of Strategic Operations for Rupert Neve Designs. I'm here in the great Sweetwater Studios today showing you the amazing Rupert Neve Designs 5088 console. The 5088 is a true high voltage design with 90 volt rails, very wide bandwidth. The 5088 offers more dynamic range, 10 dB more, than any classic Neve console with no scratchy pots, no dirty faders, and the flexibility and routing of a modern console. The 5088 console features custom Rupert Neve Design transformers and op amps on every input and output. There are no secondary pass on the console. Every input and output is the highest audio quality available today. The quality of the switches, the faders, the pots, everything in here is to the highest build standard that Rupert's ever made. Let's look at an overview of the 5088 console. The console comes with 16 input modules available in mono and stereo configurations, long throw faders. Over here, it comes with eight group masters, aux masters, and stereo returns. Here we have the master section. The master section has fantastic metering, an oscillator, switching for external inputs, three sets of speakers, an incredible uh, master pot, the master fader, switchable inserts, and up top we have the penthouse. The penthouse allows your choice of mic preamps, compressors, or equalizers. It's custom configurable in size, which modules you need, whatever you want, and it's one of the few consoles available today that you can get a mic pre, compressor, and equalizer in every channel. On top of that, we have a real meter bridge with great VU meters for you to be able to determine fader levels to and from tape. Here we have the input module. At the top, you have a choice of three inputs, the tape input, the line input, or the bus input. This allows easy switching back and forth between sessions between tracking and overdubbing. You have a trim control, with plus or minus 10 dB, you have a phase invert switch, you have a stereo bus select, you have selection for the eight groups, and then you have here, you have eight auxiliaries that can be used for effects or they can be used for headphone mixes. When you're using them for headphone mixes, there's a great feature which is called solo follows pan, which means your panning that you set up on the main modules is followed by these two modules when you select that. You don't have to repan everything, it follows exactly what you're hearing. So you get a quick headphone mix that can be pre or post fader, you have a pan in select switch, you have a solo switch, and you have a mute switch. All of these super high quality relays, they feel great, they're very well built. On top of that you have the fader. Here we have the included four stereo effects return modules and aux masters. On the top you have a trim for the effects return, you have assignment to the stereo bus, the eight groups, a solo switch and a mute switch for it. Below that are the aux masters. You get a level control for it, a solo so you can hear what you're sending either to the headphones or to effects, and a mute switch. Below that are the group master controls with a group insert, switchable, transformer isolated XLR on every input and selections to the stereo bus. Below that are the pan pots for it, a solo switch as well for the groups, and mutes. Here we have the great sounding master module section in the 5088 two real VU meters, talkback control, you can talk back to any of the auxes or the stereo bus itself or all the auxes at once, an oscillator with variable frequencies to line things up, a level control for that, master solo level, real speaker selection. When I say real speaker selection, these are transformer isolated individual outputs, not just a wire or a mult. Here we have choice of what you're listening to, solo mode, and choice of three external inputs to listen to stereo inputs. Here we have a dim switch for when the phone rings, a switchable stereo insert to put your stereo master bus processor in there, a mute control, and a talkback that allows you to talk to all the auxes. There's a great full throw stereo fader, and over here we have a genuine stepped attenuator for perfect tracking all the way down, no veering off to the left or right. This is a very expensive part and part of the high quality and high build of our consoles. Up here we have the penthouse. The penthouse allows you to put in mic preamps, equalizers or compressors or any combination you want custom configurable to your needs. Here we have an extremely high voltage class A mic preamp design with 72 dB of gain, phantom power, a phase switch, a variable high pass filter from 20 hertz to 250 hertz, and an incredible three band inductor EQ combining the greatest hits of the past. You have the low end of a 1064 giving you the girth and power in the low end, the mid range of a 1073 and the high end a capacitive and hybrid inductor design. These inductor EQs really sound amazing and represent the best of the new and the old. Below that you have a choice of variable texture. 
silk red or silk blue. You can choose what you need, variable amounts. You can get the vibe and mojo you want all the way from very clean to very colored. Here we have the 5051 module. This combines a three band inductor EQ with all the hits from the past with the great compressor from our master bus processor, very flexible, allowing you modern sound or very classic sound from the past. On top here is the meter bridge, an optional accessory which gives you an extremely high quality VU meter for every channel that you can choose to be pre or post fader or see the output level of the direct out. The construction quality of the 5088 features the highest build quality possible. From the best switches, pots, and faders, to every little detail, we look at this not as a three-year purchase, but as a lifetime purchase for you. We want to partner with you and Sweetwater for great sound for years to come. So this was a brief look at the amazing Rupert Neve Designs 5088 console. For more information, pricing, and availability, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer today.